In functional analysis and related branches of mathematics, the banach alu theorem, also known as Alu's theorem, states that the closed unit ball of the dual space of a normed vector space is compact in the weak asterisk topology. A common proof identifies the unit ball with the weak asterisk topology as a closed subset of a product of compact sets with the product topology. As a consequence of Tikhonov's theorem, this product, and hence the unit ball within, is compact. A proof of this theorem for separable normed vector spaces was published in 1932 by Stefan Banach, and the first proof for the general case was published in 1940 by the mathematician Leonidas Alou. Since the banach alu theorem is proven via Tikhonov's theorem, it relies on the ZFC axiomatic framework, in particular the axiom of choice. Most mainstream functional analysis also relies on ZFC. However, the theorem does not rely upon the axiom of choice in the separable case see below. in this case one actually has a constructive proof. This theorem has applications in physics when one describes the set of states of an algebra of observables, namely that any states can be written as a convex linear combination of so-called pure states. The theorem Let X be a norm space, the dual X asterisk is hence also a norm space with the operator norm. The closed unit ball of X asterisk is compact with respect to the weak asterisk topology, cf. also section dual in the article topological vector space. This is a motivation for having different topologies on a same space since in contrast the unit ball in the norm topology is compact if and only if the space is finite dimensional cf Riesz lemma Topic <laughs> <laughs> sequential Banach Alu theorem A special case of the banach alu theorem is the sequential version of the theorem, which asserts that the closed unit ball of the dual space of a separable normed vector space is sequentially compact in the weak asterisk topology. In fact, the weak asterisk topology on the closed unit ball of the dual of a separable space is metrizable, and thus compactness and sequential compactness are equivalent. Specifically, let X be a separable norm space and be the closed unit ball in X. Since X is separable, let X n be a countable dense subset. Then the following defines a metric for X, Y element of B Rho X Y equals N equals 1 infinity 2 minus n x minus y x n 1 plus x minus y x n Display style row x y equals sum underscore n equals one carrot inf t two carrot n frac left langle x y x underscore n wrangle right one plus left langle x y x underscore n wrangle right in which display style langle c d o t c d o t wrangle denotes the duality pairing of x with x sequential compactness of b in this metric can be shown by a diagonalization argument similar to the one employed in the proof of the arzela ascoli theorem due to the constructive nature of its proof as opposed to the general case which is based on the axiom of choice the sequential banach alu theorem is often used in the field of partial differential equations to construct solutions to pde or variational problems for instance if one wants to minimize a functional f x r 
Display style f x caret asterisk two math bound r. On the dual of a separable normed vector space X, one common strategy is to first construct a minimizing sequence X one X two element of X Displaystyle X underscore one X underscore two L dots in X carrot asterisk which approaches the infimum of f, use the sequential banach alu theorem to extract a subsequence that converges in the weak asterisk topology to a limit x, and then establish that x is a minimizer of f. The last step often requires f to obey a sequential lower semi-continuity property in the weak asterisk topology. When x is the space of finite radon measures on the real line, so that x equals C zero R Display style x equals C underscore zero math bound R is the space of continuous functions vanishing at infinity. By the Riesz representation theorem, the sequential Banach Alu theorem is equivalent to the Heli selection theorem. Topic: Generalization, bourbaki alu theorem. The bourbaki alu theorem is a generalization by Bourbaki to dual topologies on locally convex spaces. Given a separated locally convex space X with continuous dual X, then the polar U zero of any neighborhood U in X is compact in the weak topology sigma X X on X. In the case of a normed vector space, the polar of a neighborhood is closed and norm-bounded in the dual space. For example, the polar of the unit ball is the closed unit ball in the dual. Consequently, for normed vector space and hence Banach spaces, the bourbaki alu theorem is equivalent to the Banach alu theorem. Topic: <laughs> Proof For any x in x, let d x equals z element of c z x display style d underscore x equals z in math bound c left z right l e q x and d equals x element of x d x display style d equals prod underscore x in x d underscore x since each dx is a compact subset of the complex plane d is also compact in the product topology by tikhonov theorem we can identify the closed unit ball in X asterisk B1 X asterisk as a subset of D in a natural way. F element of B1 X F X X element of X element of D Display style f in b underscore one left x caret asterisk right mapsto f x underscore x in x in d. This map is injective and continuous, with b one x asterisk having the weak asterisk topology and d the product topology. Its inverse, defined on its range, is also continuous. The theorem will be proved if the range of the above map is closed. But this is also clear. If one has a net f alpha x x element of x lambda x x element of x 
Display style F underscore alpha x underscore x in x to lambda underscore x underscore x in x in D, then the functional defined by G x equals lambda x display style G x equals lambda underscore x lies in B one x asterisk. Topic consequences in a Hilbert space, every bounded and closed set is weakly relatively compact, hence every bounded net has a weakly convergent subnet Hilbert spaces are reflexive. As norm closed, convex sets are weakly closed theorem, norm closures of convex bounded sets in Hilbert spaces or reflexive Banach spaces are weakly compact. Closed and bounded sets in B H are precompact with respect to the weak operator topology. The weak operator topology is weaker than the ultraweak topology, which is in turn the weak asterisk topology with respect to the predual of B H. The trace class operators, hence bounded sequences of operators, have a weak accumulation point. As a consequence, B H has the Heine Borel property if equipped with either the weak operator or the ultraweak topology. If X is a reflexive Banach space, then every bounded sequence in X has a weakly convergent subsequence. This follows by applying the Banach Alu theorem to a weakly metrizable subspace of X, or, more succinctly, by applying the Ebeline Smullyan theorem. For example, suppose that X equals LP. Then there exists a subsequence Fnk and an F element of X such that F n K G D mu F G D mu display style int f underscore n underscore K G D mu to int f G D mu for all G element of L Q mu equals x asterisk where 1 p plus 1 q equals 1 the corresponding result for p equals 1 is not true as l1 mu is not reflexive it should be cautioned that despite appearances the banach alu theorem does not imply that the weak asterisk topology is locally compact this is because the closed unit ball is only a neighborhood of the origin in the strong topology, but is usually not a neighborhood of the origin in the weak asterisk topology, as it has empty interior in the weak asterisk topology, unless the space is finite dimensional. In fact, it is a result of Weyl that all locally compact Hausdorff topological vector spaces must be finite dimensional. <laughs> Topic. See also. Equals. Bishop Phelps theorem. Banach Mazur theorem. Ebeline Smullyan theorem. Goldstein theorem. James theorem. Mazur's lemma. Crin-Milman theorem. Delta compactness theorem equals equals notes